If your Joomla installation was successful, then there's nothing to see here. Move on to Lesson 5. If, however, you had trouble with the installation, you might find these hints helpful. The main problem is caused by the fact that different web hosts have different setups. If Joomla is set up in ideal hosting conditions, then everything should work correctly. But if you run into trouble, it is often due to what's known as a permission problem. At the end of the installation process, a file named configuration.php needs to be written to your website. This process can fail with some hosts, and this will prevent the installation from completing. Also, you're likely to encounter problems in the future when you need to install an extension onto your site. In these cases, it is helpful to use the FTP layer feature that was skipped in the previous lesson. To use this feature, you need your FTP username and FTP password as provided by your web host. For the highest security, you can create an FTP account in your hosting control panel purely for this purpose. So if you know how to do that, then go ahead. Start the web installer as demonstrated in the previous lesson and work your way through until you get to the page that asks you for the FTP details. Then set the first option to yes. For FTP username and FTP password, enter the details provided by your host. The FTP root path is a tricky one, as this is the location in your web hosting account where your web files are stored. This is often something like public underscore HTML or HTTP docs, but your host will tell you. You can ask Joomla to try and enter this for you automatically by clicking the Auto Find FTP Path button. If it returns a positive response, then you can continue. If it doesn't work, you might have to modify the advanced settings. Click that heading and then verify that the settings are correct. For FTP host, you'll probably see the numbers 127.0.0.1 which is often correct, or simply the word local host. Some hosts use a different setting. The FTP port is generally 21. For the stronger security, it's best to leave save FTP password to no. Once these settings have been entered correctly, continue with the installation and hopefully it will complete successfully. If not, or if you can't get the FTP layer working correctly, then try this next step. Before starting the web installer, create an empty file, upload it to the web server, and change its permissions. Start by opening a plain text editor. It's best to use a very basic editor rather than a word processor, otherwise the file might not be created properly. For example, in Windows, you're best to use Notepad. Don't type anything, but save this empty file in the same directory where you previously extracted all your Joomla files. Name the file configuration.php And if you have the option to change the file type, make sure you select the most basic type. In my case, I'll change this to all files. Now upload that file to your web hosting account. Open your FTP software, connect to your account, and upload the file. Lastly, you need to make this file writable. On the server side, right click the configuration.php file name and look for an option such as change permissions. This version of FileZilla calls it file permissions. Select that and a new window will appear with a box somewhere displaying a number. Change the number to 777. Click OK and then go back to your web browser and work through the web installer. There is one more step that you absolutely must complete. 
When Joomla has been successfully installed, you must go back to your FTP software and then change the permission on this file again. The process is the same. Right click on configuration.php, choose File Permissions, and this time change the number to 644 and click OK. Failing to do this is a major security risk, so do not ignore this step. These steps solve the majority of installation problems. If you're still stuck, you might ask your host if they can install it for you. If not, then it's time you looked for a host that is more Joomla friendly. Here's the address again where you look for a suitable host.